Stillman Valley has won five state championships in football. Each one is equally precious. But the one that had the most thrilling ending was the Cardinals' last one in 2013. That's the one we focus on now in our Glory Days segment. The Cardinals played St. Joseph Ogden in DeKalb on a windy, frosty evening. St. Joe's passing game was potent, but so was Stillman's running game. Both offenses dominated. Micah Castronovo was the first Cardinal to score an eight-yard touchdown in the first quarter. All-state fullback Zach Hare scored two more touchdowns in the second and third quarters. But the Cardinals still found themselves trailing with less than six minutes to play in the fourth quarter when St. Joseph Ogden quarterback Dalton Walsh connected with Hunter Hart for a 22-yard score. It was 35-28 Spartans. Walsh passed for three touchdowns. But back came the Cardinals with 119 to play. Hare scored his third touchdown from a yard out camping off a 12-play drive. It was 35-35 and headed to overtime. The Cardinals had the ball first, and you knew they were going to Hare. He again powered in for a touchdown. Moments later, he added this two-point conversion, and Stillman led 43-35. But St. Joseph Ogden answered with a touchdown run to slice the lead to two. So it came down to this conversion attempt, and Walsh got smothered by a blitzing Logan Alberts with help from Eddie Torrance, and that sealed the deal. The Cardinals won 43-41 to in overtime. State championship number five was in the bag. Joining me now on the phone to discuss that great championship game is former Stillman fullback and linebacker Zach Hare. Zach, there were so many big plays in that game, and it was such a back-and-forth game. It was fitting that it went into overtime. Of all those plays, all those moments, which one stands out the most to you? I think definitely the last. Um, even though I wasn't necessarily involved in it, uh, I was able to kind of be back there and watch all of our work pay off all into one moment was something that was super special for all of us. So that was the failed conversion attempt by St. Joseph Ogden. Now, did, did you get a good look at Logan Alberts firing off the line, and were you at all surprised that he would be the guy to make that play getting the sack? <laughs> I, I was on the field. I was right behind Logan, um, and I wasn't surprised at all. Um, Logan's still one of my best friends these days, and just how tough he is, and to be able to you know, just kind of squirt through that line and make that play was, it was awesome. Do you recall what your coaches called on defense, that conversion attempt? What was the plan there defensively? Not exactly what it was called. Um, I knew we did kind of throw in a little something different where we did a little bit of a twist where uh, Logan actually went through a different hole that he was hitting all game long. So I took the, took the lineman that one, and he was able to get through and make that play. On offense, the coaches kept feeding you the ball throughout the game. You had 39 carries, so it was no surprise to anyone that you would get the ball again in overtime. How determined were you in overtime to get it into the end zone for both the touchdown and the conversion? Absolutely. We were, we were all determined. I mean, the last two scores were necessary. Um, by the help of that line, like always, uh, not getting in wasn't an option that day. So in that overtime situation, we just had to get it done. You mentioned the offensive line. There was Wyatt Stockton, Tom Hess, Orion Peterson, Chris Bronze, Connor Engelkiss. I mean, you had a pretty big physical group on that line that year, didn't you? I did. Um, I wouldn't say necessarily big, but I was just absolutely physical. Um, I had the privilege to kind of stand behind those guys and watch them move kids that were bigger than them. So it was impressive to watch. And like I always say, the credit always goes to them. And what made your performance that game even more impressive was the fact you were playing somewhat injured. Uh, how banged up were you? <laughs> it was a long season. Um, I had dealt with a shoulder problem all year and then an ankle situation that stemmed late. But at the end of the day, you know, you just put that pass in and kind of grind through it. We had a lot of other guys that were just as banged up as I was. So, In a championship game, the adrenaline is running sky high, and you're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a great team for four quarters. And then you've got to somehow dial it up again and find the energy to battle in overtime. How exhausted were you guys? <laughs> I think it was a collection of all the year. We had a very tough game after the state game, so we were all exhausted. Um, but at the end of the day, we all had to look at it from the standpoint of, this is going to be a lot of our last games of football that we ever play um, competitively. So we just had to finish that strong. You know, one of the things Coach Lawler mentioned after the game was what a great life lesson a game like that could be about never giving up, never giving in. And he hoped that that would be something all you guys would take forward and apply to the rest of your lives. So can you to this day draw from that experience? And can you say you're a better person today for having played high school football and for having been a Stillman Valley Cardinal? Absolutely. Um, I think the two words that we kind of carried with us were discipline and adversity. I mean, when we were the ones 
we had to fight for everything that we earned and uh we can honestly say that we were that we became better people on and off the field and i think that carries into a lot of our uh, professions to this day our thanks to zach Hare for joining us to reflect on that thrilling state championship win by the cardinals zach by the way now works as a sheriff's deputy in ogle county